you're watching this video, you're probably considering living in Foster City. You might have a young family or soon to have a young family. Or maybe you're just curious about what Foster City has to offer. My name's Gwen with Intera Real Estate and I grew up here in Foster City. And I'm very lucky to be raising my young family here as well. You know, Foster City is a town that a lot of people just pass by along 101 going to and from San Francisco. And when I first started dating my wife, she really didn't know much about Foster City as well. She's a city girl and never really wanted to leave. And after all these years, we're married with kids and she's an absolute believer now. She loves Foster City and she does not want to leave. I'd like to say that I'm the reason why she doesn't want to leave Foster City. But hey, living in a beautiful town like this, it can only help. All right, hey, we are here at Edgewater Park. This is one of the bigger parks in Foster City. A lot of amenities, they've got basketball courts right behind me, they've got softball, baseball fields, soccer uh, turf field, which we're actually on right now. They've got uh, tennis courts, five or so tennis courts back there next to a, a children's playground. So a lot of amenities to cover the entire family. Uh, my wife and I, we actually love this park. Um, during the height of the pandemic, when my wife was pregnant with our second kid, we spent a lot of time here and just really hanging out because nobody was out here. We would just hang out here and just enjoy the nature. As you can hear, it's a lot of birds in the area. We would actually hang out in that huge redwood tree underneath that redwood and just uh, have a blanket and just relax and hang out. And hey, that we figured that's probably the best place to be, the most safest place during a pandemic. Just, uh, I'll take you guys to the other end of the park just to take a quick peek of what else this place has to offer. It's an absolutely beautiful place. All right, we are at Gull Park. This is one of the few parks in Foster City that's a beach park. Cool place to just have picnics. Had a lot of picnics here with friends, with uh, kids parties and stuff. They've got big kids playground out there and then they've got a smaller kids playground here behind me. Um, nice area to just hang out, just relax by the water. A uh, great place to go um, uh, paddle boarding. Uh, some of my friends come out here to go paddle boarding. We just hang out, uh, have a picnic, and just enjoy the water, enjoy the sun. All right, we are here at Foster City Elementary, um, one of four elementary uh, schools in Foster City, TK to fifth grade. Um, again, one of four, there's uh, Foster City Elementary, Audubon, 
uh, Brewers Island and the new Beach Park Elementary School. Uh, student body out here in Foster City Elementary is, I want to say, just under 500 kids. Um, and one of the nice things why a lot of people love moving into Foster City, the younger families or soon to be younger families because the schools here are all great. Elementary and middle schools are great out here. There's no high school in Foster City. Uh, however, they all feed into uh, schools in San Mateo, either San Mateo High School, Hillsdale High School or Aragon High School. Um, all excellent schools as well. All right, we are here walking down Gull, very close to the elementary school, Audubon Elementary. Um, great community, very nice, uh, typical Foster City homes. This is the older part of uh, Foster City. I'd say these homes were built in like the late 60s or early 70s. Uh, this particular home here, recently just um, so this is a five bedroom, three bath, 2,700 square feet, and it's sold for 2,400,000. As you can tell that they are just doing, starting to do some work, some updating, remodeling on the property. Uh, but yeah, 2,700 square feet, five bedroom, three bath. And that's what you get in this type of community. Very typical home out here in Foster City. Again, uh, built in the late 60s, early 70s. Um, yeah, quiet community. Uh, it's a little breezy out here. Um, one thing you will notice is that you might hear, it's, you will hear, hear some planes because it's part of the flight path. In this part of Foster City, you will hear uh, the planes coming over uh, as they go into uh, SFO. Uh, just part of the things that you have to look out for when you're looking to purchase in Foster City. Um, me particularly, it doesn't bother me as much. Um, I grew up in this side of Foster City, uh, so to speak, and so the, the flight path does not bother me as much. Um, however, if you are sensitive to noise or, or just would like not like to hear it, there's other parts of Foster City where it's not part of the flight path. There you go. All right, we are here on Gemini Lane. Um, this home back here, uh, 775, just recently sold. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, um, a little bit over 1,400 square feet. And it sold for $1,605,000. So you can see typical home here in Shell Cove community, um, right here. And these are all townhomes community, um, quite, quiet townhome community with pools, tennis court, um, and a nice little walkway that goes out to the bike path that takes you out to San Mateo or towards Redwood Shores and around Foster City. And I'll show you that in a little bit here. All right, so we are at the edge of the Shell Cove community. As you can see, the edge of the community backs to this waterway out here. It's a beautiful waterway. This bike path here takes you to San Mateo to the right, and then to the left, it'll take you all the way out to Redwood Shores or around uh, Foster City uh, along Beach Park, and then into San Mateo again. Beautiful community. Um, as you can tell, it's got this wonderful amenities that uh, not a lot of uh, communities out in Foster City has, but very special to this particular um, townhome community here at Shell Cove. They also have tennis courts out here, swimming pool over there. Look at that. If you're thinking about making a move, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I'd be happy to help you with that move.
All right, so we are here at a new development in Foster City called Foster Square. Huge development just across the Leo Ryan Rec Center, um, which is the bigger park in Foster Parks in Foster City. And it's also um, next to the PJCC uh, Community Center. So you can see it's a beautiful development. It's actually a 55 plus community, which is a mixed use. They've got uh, some commercial businesses downstairs. Um, they've got uh, the new post office uh, at one end, and then they've got the Starbucks. Um, there and as well as some of the Middle Eastern restaurant uh, that serves great food out there. Um, let's come take a look. So the cool thing about this area in Foster Square, it's almost smack down in the middle of Foster City. It's super convenient. You can actually just walk to a lot of different places. Um, as you can see here, uh, again, PJCC right behind me. And then as you walk down this, this walkway back here, it ends up all the way down to the end to the Foster City Rec Center. Nice area, beautiful spring day here. We gotta love it here in Foster City. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Nice. Check it out. Let's go ahead and walk through here. All right, guys, we are here at the Metro Center shopping area. Um, we've got a safe way out here to go do your grocery. Um, got uh, Chase Bank to do some banking, dry cleaning out here. There's a Five Guys Burger right behind me, if you can see. And um, nice thing about this area is that you can actually just grab a sandwich grab some coffee at the local Starbucks and just hang out here in the back. Uh, what this is, is it's a nice little area that people come by just to hang out, just because there's residential housing here from here to my right and as well as here to the left. Um, it's, it's a mix of senior housing and as well as town home, uh, townhomes. Um, on the other side. So it's a very nice, quiet, serene area. Uh, very typical of a lot of Foster City neighborhoods where there's just a lot of greenscape and landscapes, as you can see behind me. One little cool thing, uh, right behind this building is actually the headquarters of Visa, uh, the credit card um, company or, or network. Uh, they're one of the bigger employers out here in Foster City. So uh, if you're out here during the lunch hour, uh, you'll see a lot of them just walking through, doing their uh, errands or grabbing a bite to eat. So the nice thing about these townhomes, they're a mix, they're fairly new, newer uh, townhomes built in Foster City. Um, I'd say they were, I think, built around the late 80s, possibly even early 90s. A mix of two bedrooms or three bedroom townhomes, multi-level townhome community, and behind is uh, another town home or condo community um, called city homes and they're also a mix of a two two to three bedroom community which is nice because it's very convenient uh, you can easily just walk to to the grocery just out here to Safeway or even just CVS down the street B of A to the right chase in the middle and behind this uh, building over here behind Metro Tower is actually um, a little bit ways down the road is the Costco. So then Costco, there's another little shopping strip mall there where they have another Starbucks, a new restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, as well as uh, Jamba Juice. Nice, quiet, peaceful area. Come check it out. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up or tell me what you think by dropping a comment. 
To catch my latest video about barrier real estate, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you guys at the next one.